Did you know that this mysterious cave produces ice in the hot summer and the ice melts in the cold winter? This bizarre natural phenomenon is definitely a sight to check out. Welcome to the Caldersport Ice Mine. The Caldersport Ice Mine, formerly known as the Sweden Valley Ice Mine, is located in north central Pennsylvania, just a short distance east of Caldersport, Pennsylvania, and was discovered around 1895. So how did this mine come about? Legend has it that local Native Americans found silver and lead in this area. As European settlers became more common, the natives took their secrets of the silver with them as the natives moved out. Another unconfirmed legend states that in the mid-1890s, a Seneca Nation Indian from a nearby reservation found some silver ore to show to some enthusiastic local folks around him. Sometime after that, he left and disappeared, never to be seen again. These stories were either a joke by the local Native Americans or just an urban legend. However, it spread as gospel truth among the local population. Sometime in the late 1890s or early 1900s, prospectors John Dodd and William O'Neill decided to explore the area for silver ore and came across an area with moss and had ice underneath it. They thought they found silver ore using a dowsy rod, which is using two sticks or rods to find something, a method that does not work. They started to dig a deep hole about 2 meters or 7 feet in diameter and about 3.6 meters or 13 feet deep. Eventually, it would end up being 30 feet deep or 9 meters as it is today. About two-thirds of the way down, they did find some bones and fossils. When they dug to a depth of 3.6 meters or around 13 feet, they stopped. But they did notice a cold draft of air coming through the cracks from an unknown origin. After that, they abandoned the area for a while. John Dodd returned to the area in the spring only to find ice forming in the chasm and around it. Later that summer, more ice formed on the sides of the cave along with large icicles. While the prospectors did not find any silver, a professor named M. L. Kelly purchased the site in 1915 to make it a tourist attraction. First, it was about 10 cents to visit, and then a few years later it was raised to 50 cents to enter. So in this aspect, there is silver to be made. In 1921, it was sold to William Shear, who kept the price at 50 cents until 1965. In 1987, Mr. Shear passed on and it remained closed for some years. In 2013, the Countersport Ice Mine was purchased by Gary and Diana Butsen. In 2014, it finally opened up for the first time in many years. The Countersport Ice Mine is one of the few places in the world that produces ice in the spring and in the hot summer and the ice starts to melt in the fall and is completely gone by the cold winter. This bizarre phenomenon sounds strange, but there is a theory behind it, although the process is still not fully understood. The Caldersport Ice Mine is known as a cold trap. In the winter, the heavy cold air slowly sinks into the shell rock openings on the top and the side of the mountain through cracks and starts to saturate the mountain and expels the remaining warm air that has been accumulating within the mountain since the summer over the course of a couple months. Shale is a layered rock that has spaces in between that can pull in cold air. The rock's insulating effects may also be a contributor to this phenomenon. Throughout the late winter and spring, the cold air eventually makes its way to the bottom of the cave and remains at its coldest below freezing at around minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit in March and April. From May until late August, the air in the cave still remains at freezing temperatures with ice still forming and is trapped at the bottom while the hotter air eventually seeps into the interior of the mountain. The remaining cold air trapped from the winter inside the mountain continues to make its way to the bottom during the spring and summer. The cold air continues to combine with humidity and groundwater to form ice in the spring and summer. As fall approaches, the mountain is already saturated with warmer air and the ice starts to melt around September and October timeframe. In the winter, the process repeats itself where the cold air on top pushes the remaining hotter air out of the cave, thus causing the ice to melt during the late fall and winter. The cave remains above freezing temperatures of 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit from August until January and can vary from year to year. We took a tour of the ice mine on the 30th of June, 2023, around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The temperature on the outside was around 73 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 degrees Celsius. The cost was about $5 per person and contains a nice little gift shop. A tour guide explains the origins of the ice mine and how it works. As we enter the ice mine, 
it was like walking into a refrigerator. The temperature was around 42 degrees Fahrenheit or around 6 degrees Celsius, a drop of almost 30 degrees Fahrenheit or 17 degrees Celsius when compared to the outside. So when you look down inside there, you see all kinds of really unique formations and lots of icicles. The icicles actually continue to grow throughout the summertime as the ice up top melts and drips down. It's about 45 degrees out here where we are, down inside there right around 32, or I'm sorry, 33 degrees. Uh, those icicles continue to grow. They'll get to be about 15 feet tall and touch the bottom of the mine. They'll also get to be as big around as a telephone pole. Believe it or not, the Countersport Ice Mine may have been built for natural refrigeration. It is possible that this may have been the original intention, which was to store certain foods in a cold environment during the summer. To this day, geologists continue to study this phenomenon to try and pinpoint exactly what is going on inside the mountain and inside the cave. So if you happen to be in this neck of the woods in north central Pennsylvania, take a trip to see one of the coolest sights around, literally, the Cowdersport Ice Mine.